Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and I'm continuing the HTML project. On our last video, we created this back and forth uh, screen action here, where the basic classes, you would click on an item and it slides over to show basic class info. And you can do the other classes yourself. But now what we need to do is, back on the home screen, we've got an info button. That doesn't do anything yet. Our example shows that what we can do is click the info button and a pop-up happens. Close button goes back. So let's go ahead and create this. This is also a div data role page but it behaves differently from the other pages. So first let's create this page. Notice it's got a header, content area, but no footer. So let's go to the end of our code, add a new div pair, data-role, page, needs a ID of course, we'll call this info, needs a div for the header, need some text in the header and this should be familiar we've done this several times now if you followed the videos and lastly a div for content and notice again I usually write my code in pairs and then fill in the details I'll just fill in some text here So now we've got a page that will be our pop-up. So we need to reference it in our code way back in line 63. Line 63, there's our information button. href is currently set to pound page 1. The actual link is page 1. Actually, we want it to say pound info. That's what we called the page we created right here, line 226, info, ID equals info. Notice it does not have the pound sign in the page itself, only in the href. Now, to make this behave like a pop-up, we need one more bit here. We've got these various data roles, data icons, etc., data icon position, the next thing that I'll add is data-rel equals quotes data relationship. What's the relationship between the current page and the page you're about to click on? In our case, it's a dialog, a dialog box spelled this way, D-I-A-L-O-G, data rel dialog. Save. Go back to our example, refresh, click the button, pop-up box. Because of the data rel, data rel equals dialog. Now we have this effect where everything else fades out. The box fades in, it pops out of the screen, it's got the rounded edges, it doesn't touch the edge of the screen, and it has a built-in close button. So jQuery Mobile, it's great. Come back on our next videos and we'll be adding more content, refining our project, and moving it forward.